right, Gatsby lesson three. Not a whole lot to do today, uh, so we're going to go real quick. Here's your PowerPoint. You can go through slides 18 through 21. There's a lot of things that we would just discuss, so we'll do that Tuesday, Wednesday when you come back to class. The main thing you need to know to do is this assignment in Google Classroom. So when it loads, there's going to be an assignment titled Nick's Perception. And there's an attachment where you're going to fill out a chart. So in class, we talked about perception, and that is the way people interpret things in the world around them. So in this chart on the left side, you are going to put text evidence, five pieces of text evidence from the first four pages that we read um, of details that Nick gives us about himself. Then on the right side, you will do five pieces of evidence, details Nick gives us about other characters, events, or settings. So basically the story as a whole. Once you get done with that, down here, uh, answer these two questions. The first one, what is the narrative structure of The Great Gatsby? Meaning, we talked about how it's a first person narrative. And then what are some factors that might influence the narrator's perception of events? So basically the narrator, Nick, what facts about him would influence the way he interprets the world around him, the way he judges or doesn't judge the people around him. You will finish just